To softball now, as promised last Sunday, the Edward Waters Lady Tigers are back after winning the SIAC championship. But wait, that ain't all. They also locked up the HBCU National Championship for the second straight year. Joining me now is Coach Mike Ellison, and the national champs are in the house. No, 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 we got to find a way. This is live TV. We got to slide this trophy because we can't be covering up beautiful Jodice's face. So, Coach, uh, it's hard to win the SIAC Tournament Championship regular season and tourney. You also win the national title. Tell me about your journey. How does it feel to be a champ, Coach? Oh, there's nothing better than being a champion, man. God blessed us in a great way. We went up there with the mantra that each day was the first day of the season. Each day we were going to play. We had, uh, before we got off the bus, I told him, hey, this is game one, first game of the season. Let's go win this. Let's go be undefeated today, and then we'll worry about tomorrow when it comes. Jodeci, tell me what it's like to be a national champ. How are you and the ladies feeling tonight? We're feeling amazing, aren't we? <laughs> I like that. Guys, get all this confidence from you. You just, uh, I mean, even when talking with Coach and the players last week, there was no doubt. He even promised that you guys were going to win. Where does this confidence come from? Honestly, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Coach, step in. Okay, so, so basically it, it comes from the girls being up performer and, and do the tasks that we've asked them to do. They just bought into the program. They bought into the process. We, One of the things we talk about all the time, just trust the process. Just trust. We're putting in the work. We're doing the things that we need to do in order to, to win championships, and that's our goal here at Edward Waters is to continue to win championships. Now, if you agree with Coach, let me hear you clap your hands. <laughs> A little louder. <laughs> Uh, Coach, if you could, you know, any great team always has great leadership. You've got some of the most talented seniors uh, in the country. Talk about the role they played in you guys winning it all. Everything starts from the top down, just like anything. I mean, I can, I can give them instructions, but our leaders, Tiara and Naya and Emily, uh, our seniors this year are, are ones that lead by example. They show up on time, they stay late, they do the work that needs to be done. I've got three super seniors, uh, the twins, uh, Caitlin and, and, and uh, Jasmine, and then we also have another super senior in Jade mentioned that um, actually just are gonna step into that role this upcoming year. They're, they're all, they could have graduated, but they decided to come back and use their COVID year for one more year. So having the leadership of, of those ladies to be able to feed into the new ones that come on helps so much in, in us being able to continue to build the process and the program that we're looking to build. Now, Joe, to see, I should have asked you this before the show, but are you a senior? Uh, no, sir. So I, you're coming back? Yes, sir. Because you yes, just sir. talk about how your seniors have, have been so influential when you win in the championship. Well, they're just them being a part and then, like, inspiring us and just us being a team. It just honestly really helped. And without them, like, honestly, we probably wouldn't even be here. How did they inspire the underclassmen? Well, this showed us how basically just to be a leader and how to be a team player and how we should just all work together. And now look at us. I mean, we just won a championship, so. And you did it for your city, Sandalwood. Hundred percent, hundred percent. No doubt about it. <laughs> all right, Coach. Uh, you won the regular season title. You won the tourney title. You won the national title. How are you guys able to navigate through it all? We just trust in the process. I keep using that word, the process, but I mean, it, that's the bottom line. We trust in the fact that each and every day we get up and we want to do everything we do to represent Ever Waters in a positive way, represent our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in a positive way, and be able to do the things that makes us into a program that, that people want to be a part of. And as we continue to grow, just like with any program, winning breeds recruiting. As we continue to win, recruiting will come. And as we continue to recruit, then we're going to continue to, to be competitive in everything that we do. All right, let's run down some stats. 43 wins is a new school record, and you're the only HBCU to have 40-plus wins in a season, regardless of division, and end the season on a 16-game winning streak. Give it up for yourselves, the HBCU National Champ. Back-to-back -back years. Don't go anywhere, y'all. Stand with us throughout the show. All right, that sound good. Yes,